welcome back so previously we have seen how we can start api testing and previously we checked get request now in this session i will show you how we can go for rest api manual testing but this time i'm going to show you post request so post means we are going to add new data into the application or i can say into the system so as of now i'm going to add a new student to the system and as we have seen we are using student management api so let me just go back and these are my api so here we have a post api inside this student details that is used for adding new resource to the application so i'll simply click on this and again first of all whenever we are making a post request we need url and we know how to set up url so we need base url i'll just copy here going to the postman adding a new tab over here so that's my base url and method so always remember to change this method as per your request so i want to make a post request this time so i just selected post okay that is my base url that is our relative url copy paste okay now we have set url over here so when we are making post request we need to set url that we have done but in case of the post request we also need to send body of the request all the data related to the student which you are going to add will be going as a body so let me just check it here in the post request it shows it says we need not to send anything in the url so we already set resource only we are not passing any other data but in body you need to set these values okay what is my request format so whenever you are going for the api testing you will get this sample request format you can call it request format or payload so when when you get this payload i'll just copy this going to the postman now how to set body here so if you check it here in the tabs we have a tab with the name body in this tab we can set body so i'll just click on it in this we have multiple options we have to select raw and here we have to select json because my request body is in the json format i just put my body payload over here okay now you have a sample request body but we want to test it with a different data so you can update your data okay i want to send testing as a first name so i'm just writing like testing i want to send a in the middle name so i can write it like this i want to send hello in the last name in the last name and i want to send this is my date of birth okay so we have updated the data in the request body means when we are testing this api we are going to send a request with this data one more thing i want to update in my api this id is not mandatory if you send or don't send system will generate a new id for the newly added student so as of now you can keep it later on we will check after removing this because this field is optional it's not mandatory okay so now we set request body also we set url okay let's check there when we are making a post request we need to set url we have done that we need to set body we have already done that other than this we need not to pass any other data we are not having any headers authentication we are going to cover all these things later on but as of now we, we are starting with the very basic api testing moving to the postman and i just click on this send button as you make a send request here we got a response if you check in the response we are getting status code 201 first thing we always need to validate the status code and let me just tell you as a standard status code whenever you are making a post request status code should be 201 for other request like get put and delete we should get 200 status code and that's a standard but it completely depends your api on which you are testing so you will get all these details 
in your requirement document whenever you are going to test any API. So you need not to worry about that. But I was telling about standard. As standard, in case of the post, we should get 201. In other three, like get, put and delete, we should get 200. Okay, now we are getting a response. So as we are doing manual testing, first we checked, okay, we are getting correct status code, yes. Now we are checking, are we getting correct data? So we send testing as a first name, we are getting correct in the response. We set middle name A, we are getting correct value. In the same way, we are setting last name, hello, we are getting correct value. Date of birth is also correct, means this API is working fine. Let me just show you few more test cases related to this. Okay, what I do, I'll just close previous tabs. So that's my post request. I simply make a duplicate tab, duplicate copy of this. So advantage of making a duplicate copy is that you already have all the settings over here. This time I want to test this API without sending ID because I know that this is an optional field. So if you're not sending ID, still it should work. I am getting correct response, correct status code and correct response data. One more thing you can test. Previously when we are making a post request, we are getting ID 527798 and this time we are getting 527799 means every time it my system is generating a unique ID which is also correct means my system is working perfectly. Every time whenever we are adding a new student, a new unique ID is generating. Also, you can check once you add a new student in the system and I want to make sure that is added successfully or that is added successfully in the system. So we can just copy this ID and that was my get request. So I simply come here and I'm trying to fetch details of newly added, added student because this get request is for fetching data of student. I'm making a request. So you are getting data here you can validate okay ID is correct first name we are sending first name testing yes we have the testing is the first name we are sending date of birth 12 12 1994 yes we send this so after making a post request if you want to validate system is working correctly or not you can make a get request to that resource and check are we getting correct data or not so this is the manual testing later on as I told you later on we will automate all these things means after making a post request get will automatically execute and it will check the data but for now when we are going for the API testing and you are making a post request and you want to validate post request work correctly or not so for that we can make a get request and fetch data and validate that so here we have seen how we can make a post request always remember whenever we are making a post request we need to set body as well as URL so URL is there and in body we have to go here in the raw and we have to select JSON if you have a JSON body if you have any other formatted body like you want to send XML in the request because it depends in my case my application is supporting JSON formatted request payload but in your case it could be XML or it could be anything else so we can select required format from here so here we have seen how we can make a first post request in postman that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video